sweetie. Okay, hi everybody, it's Carla with Fat Fiber. Um, going to do the video for our April Bohemian Breeze um, sampler video to show you um, all the different samples that we've got in and some of the wonderful fibers and yarns. Um, wait, I don't think, no, we only, I think we only have one yarn sample this month. Um, but uh, anyway, so I'm going to show you what we've got and uh, hope you love them all as much as I do. Our box sale will be happening on Saturday. Okay. Um, okay, I'm back. So I had a little interruption there. I thought my uh, little man's, no, woman's best friend was gonna be joining us for the video, but actually my studio space is so full of fibers and yarns and maybe I'll give you a sneak peek someday, but um, I had to clear out this little area so I could do the video and there just wasn't a whole lot of room for uh, Mr. Leroy who is a big old Rottweiler. So um, anyways, okay, so the fibers. We've got all these wonderful fibers. Put them in my basket here. I'm going to share them with you, show you what we've got, and um, we'll get started. The um, first one. Here, let's start with this one. If I can find the paper. Where did I do with the paper? Oh, it's in here. This one, this is Wild Hair um, Studio Bohemian Breeze. She says, created for a 2019 April theme box. And um, she, Amanda, does a, a small batch custom blend roving. And I believe it's a hand-pulled roving. I'm not quite sure what her secret is, but that's okay. It's her secret, and we love it, so it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, the it's made from crossbred wool from her farm. There's merino, there's a touch of sari silk, and there's Angelina also here. The um, She has Etsy shops. She has fiber crafty shops. Um, she's also on Ravelry, and she's also on Instagram. So I'll make sure that I put all those links. I'm um, going to try to get most of them below. And if not, you can go to our uh, Fat Fiber website, and I'll be updating all the information on all of the most current contributors that we have. Um, but let me show you this gorgeous yarn, because this is absolutely my favorite color. I I call it turquoise, maybe sea green. It, it all depends. I'm not sure. But it's absolutely beautiful, and her fiber is so soft. And wonderful to spin. If you guys haven't spun it, I would really encourage you to um, go and do that. I thought, uh, let's see, I don't know if I've got a coupon code for her. I'll send her a message, and if we do, then I'll put that down. But um, this fiber is absolutely wonderful. You're going to love it. Super pretty. Fiber Quirks sent us a Rolag, and these Rolags are wonderful. Um, if you guys have not had the chance to spin a roll egg, I would certainly encourage you to do that. Well, you're probably going to get to do it because if you buy the box, you'll have it in there. But um, it's really fun to spin from. Um, they don't take up a lot of room if you like to take your, say if you have a little um, electric wheel or a spindle that you take with you, then um, it, the fiber is nice and compact, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. You can certainly take it with you. Um, she's named this Will O the Wisp, and it's Marina and Angelina, and she's included a coupon code, and the coupon code is Fairy Dust, and that will give you 20% off all fiber in her shop. Um, she's at fiberquirks.etsy.com. Gail with Plum Crazy Fiber Art spoiled us again this month like she does every month. Um, she specializes in the exotic um, fibers. And so there's always something nice and luscious that she sends in. Uh, this month she did the uh, yak. So this is 100% comb top yak. And it's just, I mean, it's butter soft. I don't know how to describe how soft it is, but it's just so crazy soft. I can't stand it. it it's just crazy soft. Um, Gail, check out Gail's website. She's at plumcrazyfiberart.etsy. And um, check her out on Facebook, too. She also, she raises Angora bunnies. And um, I used to have a couple of those. I, I miss them. But um, it's great. So what she always does something, like I said, with the wonderful exotic fibers. And we're real lucky to have her. So um, you can check her out at her Etsy shop. Next, let's see what I've got. I have, um, here we go, Hip Strings. Hip Strings, you can find her on Ravelry, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And um, she sent in a her turquoise fiber. This is uh, Blue Face Leicester, Leicester, BFL. 
that's how I say it, BFL. <laughs> uh, merino wool, mulberry silk, and tussa silk. And I believe it's a comb top. It's super pretty. I think I hear my dog getting into something. Let's just hope it's... He's not making a mess. As long as he's not making a mess, I guess I'm okay. Um, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I wish you guys could feel this. Wait till you touch this. It's absolutely silky soft and gorgeous. There's gray, there's turquoise, there's white. There's a little bit of um, almost a beige in there too. It's so pretty, so pretty and so soft. So that, you guys will get a, a bit of that in your box. These are fun. Um, ha handmade hollows. Alice, she sent in Cotswold Cross um, locks. And the, she's named the colorway Purple Desert Rose. And it's so fun. There's purple, there's a beige, there's a green. It's really fun. And I love, these are my favorite things for course spinning. You guys probably know by now that I like to course spin a lot. Um, although it's been a while since I've done a video. Chris has been doing the videos because my schedule just didn't allow it. And that's just kind of how her and I split the work up. But um, I decided to give it a shot this time. So I do love those. Next up, uh, Jen with Hanks in the Hood. She sent us this lovely merino silk blend and talk about soft. You guys are really getting a treat this month because there's so many super soft fibers. Actually, there's a lot of silk in here. So if you're a silk fan, um, probably need to check the box out. But I love the colors that she went with. It's a real boho looking colors, I think. There's kind of this hippie green. There's a bright, um, oh, like a bright orange. There's purple. It's um, super pretty, super soft. You can find Jen. She's at hanksinthehood.com. Next up, Symphony Fiber sent in some Surrey alpaca and a touch of silk. She sent in these Rolex. So here's more Rolex. For all you Rolex lovers, we've got them in the box for you this month. So pretty. It's a deep red. Not sure if the color is going to pick up exactly the way it is. I still hear some weird noise from my dog. That's strange. Um, but anyways, it's got this really dark red. Oh my gosh, it's, it's soft, you guys. The Sari Silk has like a brown and a blue and yellow. A little bit of purple. Super pretty. Symphonyfibers.com is where you can find the rest of her products, her fibers and such. Next up, Mary from You to Use sent in... Um, some awesome robing it's in my favorite color again i believe this is her her farm blend but it's about a nice long piece i don't know it's maybe a little bit thicker than pencil robing um but i love it it has all the different variations of the color and it's that nice aqua color um that i love so and i think lots of people are pretty big fans of it but it's super cute mary always sends us nice really um, big generous samples Howard Knickknacks, she sent in um, some lavender soaps, and um, these actually have lavender buds in it also, and um, lavender essential oils. So you can see when you flip it over, you'll be able to see the, the lavender in there, but it's so pretty. I love lavender. It always smells so good. I would probably just put this near maybe a basket of my wool because um, I think, and I'm pretty sure that the lavender is supposed to deter moths from getting in all your goodies. And, oh, Jaeger and Yarn. She always sends in, Catherine sends in these great, 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 great stitch markers. This one I love, it's nice and big. It has uh, uh, this really pretty floral type design. I'm gonna put it on my hand here, see if I can get it, if it'll focus on there. See that? So pretty. It's a nice snag-free stitch marker. And if you guys are getting the box every month, you've probably got quite a collection of these, but they're so fun. Um, it's, wow, wouldn't that make a pretty necklace? Whoops. It, it would. I might put, <laughs> I might put it on a um, chain to make a necklace. I don't know. So pretty. We've also got uh, Barbara with Kitty Mind Fiber sent in a beautiful red merino wool, bamboo, gold stellina, um, superwash sample 
um, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not super wash. It's uh, hand wash only, like all wool. But um, it's a gorgeous red. Wow, look at that. The red, the black, and the gold Stellina in there. So pretty. She named this Beauty, Truth, and Love. And um, she sent a little note card in here saying that she was in, this colorway was inspired by the, um, the Carefree Life um, of the Boho, sorry, Bohemians. Sorry, the Bohemian way of life in the uh, movie Moulin Rouge. So it's gorgeous. Super soft. Super soft. Um, oh, here's mine. So Curly Cues. You guys know I'm Curly Cues, right? So I am Curly Cues. Facebook.com slash Curly Cues. Um, I, Merino, no, I'm sorry, not Merino. Bamboo Targi Silk is my favorite. I love it. It's springy. I love how the bamboo looks different floating through the fiber and of course I had to do these are my when I think boho these are the colors that I kind of go to so this is what I did um, and I went with this although I'm really really wanting to add a splash of bright pink in here so um, you might get something extra in the box too because I'd like to see that with this color and see how it it um, spins up speaking of bright pink maybe I don't need to maybe we'll just use this one um, the Spun Bunny, she sent in two samples. She sent in some pencil robing, and she also sent in this absolutely gorgeous yarn. And um, can we just take a minute and look at her packaging, too, because it's brilliant. Um, she was trying to find, you know, pretty earth-friendly way of packaging, but yet still, you know, have her information on it. And so she's just simply wrapped these around her business card, and it's brilliant. I, I don't know why I didn't think about it, um, other than maybe I'm not brilliant, right? <laughs> but um, it's gorgeous. So the... Um, pencil roving is a 23 micron superwash merino and it is in these purple bright pink fuchsia colors and so honestly I don't know what you guys think but I really see those two colors together so um, when I spin my yarn for this I'm gonna do that or maybe maybe I'll get one of both and just do a, a special just a yarn and on top of the sampler one that I'm gonna spin I'm not sure but anyways it's here and then this I thought this was so soft when I was touching it I thought oh my god what kind of what is this so it's 70% superwash merino and it's 20% yak and 10% nylon so that explains it the superwash merino super super soft the yak wow so soft like the fiber that Gail sent in and then there's the nylon too and um, I these colors I love so much this really kind of shows this boho box really really well I love it these colors super pretty I love them in love with them um, next up let's see here Sage Ridge uh, Mills Mill and Critters on Etsy she sent us in an alpaca sampler and um, this sampler has you there's they do have all different shades so I believe there's a dark brown a this reddish color the light brown even some of them have some white in it and um, it's really pretty it's nice I'm gonna course spin this I know that for sure oh Phoenix fiber mill always gets so super creative with her samples and um, she's included these little felted bookmarks and they absolutely look like feathers to me I love them there's all different colors in here you guys are gonna all get one they're gorgeous I think you'll love them you can find them at phoenixfibermill.com so nice oh pretty we've also got and um, Gloria Patre this is one of the other samples that I've got she sent in these um, buttons and stitch markers so there are these green buttons. Those are cute. And there are also these super cute little adorable stitch markers. Let's see if that'll focus in on that one. And look at this little sun. How cute are those? Her website's great. She's got so many different things to choose from. Um, so I would encourage you, GloriaPatre.com, and go check out her items. 
Um, there's still going to be some more samples that I just don't have on hand right now, but there's going to be some more things that are in your box, so you might get a surprise. Well, you will get a surprise because there's going to be some extra special things in there that you haven't seen coming from some other contributors. Um, something else that I decided to do, and I'm going to just go ahead and show it because I think it's, I love them. I think they're super cute. Um, I decided that every month we need to have a special button made. Can you see that? I don't know if that's going to focus in. Anyways, including these, um, everyone that gets a box is going to get one of these uh, limited edition uh, fat fiber buttons. And they're just so super cute. I'm going to put mine on. I carry a lot of little tote bags or um, project bags, so that's where I'm going to put mine. And then, you know, by the end of the year, I'm going to have quite a few on there. So I'm excited about that. So those are coming every month in your box, too. Um, most of you guys have already found out that we, uh, if you've purchased a box or a sampler from us this year, we um, are not referring to them as boxes anymore because uh, we use a recycled poly meller and, and we had some custom made with our new logo on it and we love it and we're getting really good feedback on it. So um, I hope that you guys are able to store your fiber in that um, or possibly reuse them too. So that, that's great. Um, I get a ton, a ton of um, the samples all come to me to build the boxes or build the samplers. And so um, luckily I work really close where I can take all those boxes in and recycle them because man, they add up and they, they're huge. They take up a lot of room. Um, and so when you're getting your fat samplers, it's kind of nice to have them in this bag too, I think, because that's, that's what I've done. As soon as I get them from the box, I take the samples out and I put them in large um, reusable bags. And I use those bags every month when I go to build the boxes. Samplers, sorry. Anyways, extra information that you probably didn't want to hear about. Um, the last thing I want to show you is my yarn. I hope that everybody's been spinning their yarns, um, spinning their fibers from their boxes. I still have January to do, but I broke out my February ones and I spun it um, probably about a wee little, no, about a month ago. I did it about a month ago and um, I I uh, decided to film it about how I kind of take the samples apart and make my um, yarn and um, it's so I, I love it but that's me you know I like to have all these different colors and um, I just did a real simple single ply with it uh, I think it came out pretty good I'll um, post that video if you guys are inclined to watch it it's probably about 15 minutes of me spinning and my dog interrupting and, and that kind of thing so anyways have that well that'll be posted too on my um on my youtube channel so if you are watching this on the fat fiber channel then you um, come on over and hit subscribe to my curly cues channel um i'll put a link below on that one and then if you guys are so inclined to do a little spin along with me um or you want to see the different projects and stuff i've got a friend that's going to be joining me next month um jen with hanks in the hood she's going to join and we're going to um, talk about some of the different projects for our fat fiber yarns that we spin up so anyways okay that's about it i'll let you guys go and i hope that you join us next saturday for our box it is going to go on sale 10 a.m mountain time um and I hope to see you guys all there. I hope you get one. Uh, they seem to be selling out pretty quick these days. So, um, okay, I guess that's about it. Everybody have a great week. Have a wonderful week. No matter what happens, if you have a bad day, let it go and just have a good, a good, good day. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.